It's been about a year and a half since Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare Board put forward its submission for two new hospital sites to the Ministry of Health. So what has happened with this submission and why is it taking so long for the ministry to approve this early step in a various step process to get these sites approved? In an email to Your TV Muskoka, the ministry responded to the time frame of this application approval with the following. We are committed to working to make the investments in a healthcare system based on system needs and when contemplating an investment of this large size, it's important to get planning right. As the ministry is stating, in order for this project to move forward from the planning stages, it needs to be approved by the province first. And Max CEO Natalie Bubella says that is the major holdup right now for any movement. Well, it was about five, six months after we submitted our proposal, we had a series of questions, about 70 in total, responded to those. There were some additional questions after that. And since then, there's been silence. But I, I can, you know, I understand that based on the pandemic that's been occurring and many of the projects that have been given uh, the green light to go ahead in, in uh, Ontario. We tried to kickstart it a little bit by submitting a budget that mm -hmm. we thought would be appropriate for their consideration for stage two and, and got receipt uh, notification of that, but haven't heard anything since then. So I'd give it another couple of months and then more likely reach out again to them just to, to remind them we're here and we're waiting. Meanwhile, the town of Bracebridge is staying hopeful this approval is coming soon as it has recently extended an agreement with Fowler Construction to hold a parcel of land behind Walmart and Bracebridge that could serve as a possible location for the new hospital site for South Muskoka. Town of Bracebridge CAO Stephen Reddy explains what made this land so desirable and how they've extended the deal with Fowler to eventually purchase this land. It was uh, land that they had previously used for uh, a quarry operation. Um, its uh, location was uh, considered desirable, you know, being in close proximity to Highway 11, uh, easily serviced lands because it's kind of still in the urban core, um, and really was a, a good location when Mac was considering um, uh, the two site options and that sort of stuff to ensure that Bracebridge would be considered uh, to retain the uh, hospital services that already has. Well, we put in the extension of two years. Uh, we understand that the Ministry of Health is very close to um, approving the stage one submission uh, with MAC. And after they receive that approval, then stage two is where they make the decision on the land. So we don't see that uh, we would need more than the two years anyway. That was kind of a, a decent buffer to be able to uh, execute all the stuff that Mac needs to do to be able to approve the land. Um, if for some reason uh, an offer came to Fowler or uh, there was some kind of expedited rationale for uh, executing the purchase, then uh, we could certainly do it sooner. Uh, from a value perspective, uh, the town, I, you know, I think is has a good deal in place. So uh, even if we were to execute and for some reason it didn't uh, go through, we could deem it surplus and, and sell it off and it's not like it would be at a loss for the town. However, Bubella says it's way too early for any final decisions to be made on land just yet. But really in stage two, that's when site selection occurs. Mm -hmm. And so there very well could be other offers that come forward uh, with appropriate sites that would have to be considered. Any site would need to have a full investigation done of it to ensure that it could sustain uh, this type of a project on it.